come forward. We're going to make something holy here. Come forward and don't start speaking. Speak in your heart so that the other person doesn't have to listen to you. They can speak to God themselves. If you're a lady, if you're not well, don't you kneel. It's not the outward kneeling that matters. It's the inner heart. To this man will I look, even to him that's of a broken spirit, a contrite heart. If you're in contrition, abhorring what you've done to God's name, to your children, to your church, to souls, All you need to do is come and bow your heart, not necessarily your, your body. Those that are sitting, you have the right to pray for these people ahead here. Please pray in your hearts that God will never let them recover. And if two or three of you agree touching anything that's the will of God, and don't tell me you don't know that's God's will, it will be done. So you all have the right to pray for them, to become like you are, obviously. Everyone... Please forgive me. Just remember this. God does not look at the words that proceed out of the mouth. God does not look at the words that proceed out of the mouth. He looks at the heart from whence they come. Now he's looking at your heart. And I'm going to lead you in a prayer, but that's not sin. That's not sin. As best as you can, let God know this is from your heart, through your prayer, though another man's leading you. Because I don't want to leave you just to yourselves, and I haven't got counselors here that can take each one of you. So I'm going to lead you as best I know. But you don't go in circles and walk out of here the same, just confused of how to deal with it. So everyone, will you pray aloud with me? But only to God, not for the next man to hear you, please. Don't make men look at you saying, look at me in a church sir. Be careful what you do in any moment in a church that's saying, look at me. Even when you're praying or seeking God. It's God alone that matters. So speak in a way you know and He knows. And the devil knows. It's only God that knows this here. The way you're praying. Will you all play with me, please? Please pray. Oh, my God. Forgive me. For the shame of my life, the grief that I have caused thee and so many who have been near me and are conscious that I am a compromising Christian. Forgive me for every failure, every defiance of the standard of this book in my marriage, toward my enemy, in circumstance upon circumstance. Forgive me for defying you deliberately, calculatedly, knowingly, determinedly. Forgive me for the shame of my profession and the grief I have been to God and man. Forgive me for every sin. Things I've forgotten because I'm so base. I overlooked to confess. Forgive me. Let the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, that cleanses us from all sin, wash away all my sin. In mercy, make me clean. Make me pure in thine eyes. Let me have a fresh start as thy child because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood go deeper. Wash me through and through and through and through and through and through. Create in me a clean heart. O oh God, renew the right spirit within me, a steadfast, consistent, walking, 
in the standard of this book by the grace of God. I lay my life on the altar of God. I absolutely surrender. I give up the fight on every issue. And I implore thee that thou will fill me with the Holy Spirit. By that I mean take control of this vessel. Total control. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. And let the evidence of the sincerity of my prayer be seen from the next step I take, the next look I look, the next thought I think, the next word I utter, the next reaction I react, no matter how trying the circumstances, that I will spontaneously have the victory of the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, and I will reveal Christ. Help me to know that I am not sinlessly perfected by what I have done tonight. But that I can live in victory in the light I've been given. And as I walk in the light that God has given me, the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, continually cleanses me from sins committed in ignorance which the Old Testament people had to make sacrifice to God for by shedding of blood. And therefore, Jesus shed his blood for sins committed in ignorance. But I know that the path of the just is a shining light, that sign of more and more unto the perfect day. Until the day thou dost take me home, more light must come that I must continually yield to. But I can live by thy grace in the light I've been given. If one isolated failure comes on my road to the celestial city with all the powers of hell against me, Help me not to give up, but to get up. To confess that one sin in shame and to look to the blood and not to allow another sin to come. 